uh, this is our final call contemplations of the semester and it's been a really uh, unusual semester for everybody and for the chapel choir as well obviously christmas is a really special time for all choirs and chapel choir like like many of the choirs um are normally very busy at this time of year so we normally have carol services and concerts for charity and carol singing in the in the university shop um what else do we do at christmas a trip to Crichton. Oh, yes, we do. We normally go to Crichton, which is the university's campus in Dumfries, which is always a particularly uh, memorable uh, memorable trip. We sing in the church and we have mulled wine afterwards. And then on the, on the way back... Adventurous harmonies are sung on the bus. Adventurous harmonies are indeed sung on the bus. And I know that many people uh, will be missing our nine lessons and carols service, which normally happens um, on the same weekend that we go to Crichton. Um, we are going to be sharing a carol service, a shorter carol service online next Sunday. That's Sunday, the 13th of December. But um, we we really are looking forward to seeing um, our congregation and our audience and also our, actually our choir members in the same room again at some point, hopefully soon. Um, and we just like to take the opportunity to wish you all a, a really happy Christmas. 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 Our first piece this evening is a joyful Christmas motet by Peter Phillips. It was recorded at one of our recent trips to the Crichton campus in Dumfries. now by Isaac Boulter who uh, wrote the next piece that we're going to sing and Isaac is currently at home in North Carolina so um, do you want to tell us a little bit about about this piece perhaps when you wrote it? Yeah thanks Katie. Uh, I, I wrote this piece in I reckon it would have been summer of 2018 um, which was the summer after I uh, studied in Glasgow and sang with the chapel choir. Um, I, I wrote the the intro section you hear at the very beginning first I, was, uh, I, I usually write piano. I'm a pianist first before I uh, am a singer. And so I, I was found that um, intro uh, uh, sequence um, first and then went looking for a text to put it to. And, and it uh, became a Christmas piece kind of after that. 
great, great. Yeah, we, we sang it last year. So this time last year, Christmas 2019. And uh, we really enjoy singing it. It's quite an unusual piece in its structure. Do you want to talk a little bit about how it's structured, maybe? Yes. Yeah, so I, um, that, as I said, I, I wrote that, uh, I found that intro um, motif that I really loved. And from there, built a sort of hymn tune. Um, uh, and once I found the text I, I, that I liked, I was like, oh, there are quite a lot of verses. I, I have to write for it. So I, I want them to be interesting. I want them to be different. And it sort of developed into a theme and variations from that. So yeah, there's several different iterations of this, this melody with this motif from the intro section um, kind of playing around above and below it. Um, it's, it was fun to write and then it's fun to sing as well. It is, it is. And the way you set the text for the final section is quite different. Um, and I wondered if you could talk a little bit about that. The coda, yeah. I. Uh, I wanted some sort of uh, reflection on what had been verse one has this beginning, middle, end feel. Verse two has this beginning, middle, end feel. And as, as you said, they have a connection between them. But this coda is kind of, I had it in my mind that it was a, a sort of reflection on what had already been sung and brings us down from the very intense and uh, loud and, and exciting uh i guess it's first four or five setting um down to a, a sort of meditative uh ending it was kind of the goal yeah well, i think it, i think you achieved your goal it's a great it's a great piece and we really enjoyed singing it last year and uh hopefully we'll get to sing it again soon in the real world hopefully indeed
Our next piece is a real favourite of the choir and it's by Oyin Matra, who's a Norwegian composer. Um, and Esther, you suggested this piece. Uh, what do you particularly like about it? Um, well, for a start, it's really fun to sing in other languages. That's something that we do quite a lot um, in chapel choir. So getting to sing in Norwegian um, is quite fun and also quite challenging. Um, but also it's just such a lovely arrangement of the of the tune. Um, there's so many different things going on in all the different parts. Um, so it's just really exciting uh, and it just feels really uh, wintry and festive. Yeah, and I quite like the way it starts quite slowly and calmly and then it sort of takes off in a, in a, in a different direction. And I quite like the way it kind of references Norwegian folk singing as well. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, 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 oh,
sana.